ya leo tumekuja kutembelea hapa hospitali ya taifa ya Mwembili katika hodi za watoto ambao wana, wana umwa ugonjwa wa saratani kimaanisha kansa Yes na hatukuja obviously mikono mitupu na unajua kwa sababu mimi mpenzi um, wangu ni mfanyabiashara na ni mtu pia mwenye moyo mzuri sana sikutaka niaondoke Tanzania hivi hivi at least akija pia tuweze kutoa chochote kitu na iweze kuleta impact so na nimejifunza mambo mengi sana ambayo nilikuwa siyafahamu kwa siku ya leo na nimeona watoto and kusema kwa watoto hawa wanahitaji sana kuendelea kusaidiwa kuendelea kuchangiwa kuendelea um, kupata huduma nzuri kwa hiyo kama kuna mtu huko pia na chochote ataguswa na hili afike hapa aweze kuwatembelea watoto na aweze kuchangia chochote kile ya yeah, kwa sababu at the end of the day tunajaribu kufanya um, dunia iwe iwe sehemu nzuri zaidi na mitihando hivyo tumwambia binadamu hatuwezi kuipuka kwa hiyo yes na nimefarijika kusema kweli na kidogo ni tuwe machozi huko ndani lakini niko na baby hapa ilikuwa ya kwangu lakini pia nilipofikisha ali support fully ali support fully yes okay what you think sure you go ahead how are you i'm good thank you i'm good thank you you good i'm good how is tanzania actually tanzania look amazing so i think i will keep explore the country okay fine You want the truth? Uh, last week, I just uh, heard like one of my family, one person of my family gets uh, the cancer. So for me, it also affect me. And what can I say? You know, they're those kids. I don't know if you saw those kids. Like they're lovely and they deserve to be loved. So for me, sharing is caring. So I think. It should be the the best idea to come here. Maybe you can tell us what kind of donation you can provide. Every donation, physically, financially, support with every dotation, clothes, kids, scholar kids, everything okay. as possible. Okay, sir. So visiting and donating in hospital is it a something that you usually do in every country you visit? And also, have you thought of starting an organization? Maybe every country I visit. I try to do some donation for the kids for I try to help as much as people as possible. Okay. So this is really in, in every country. Okay. Yeah. Okay. After visiting here, maybe you know that you may like to go somewhere. You can tell us where would you like to go in Tanzania? In Tanzania? Everywhere. I want to go everywhere. I'm really here. I, I you know I don't I don't have return back ticket. Okay. So I'm here <laughs> to explore the country. Okay. I'm here to 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 enjoy to see the the Tanzanian people because they are lovely, you know. Like the welcome is really warm, warm welcome. Thank you. For how long will you be here? I don't know. Like uh, for how long you want me to be here? Like you just have to tell me, and I will follow. You know. <laughs> yeah. We know that you're a businessman. Yeah. Maybe uh, do you get any idea maybe to start a business here in Tanzania? Sorry? We know that you're a businessman. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea maybe to start a business here in Tanzania? Obviously, yes, of course, I'm interested to, you know, share this experience with Amisa also because, like, love is something. But professionally, we have to, you know, share something else. So, of course, I will invest also in Tanzania and we will see step by step, like, in what we will do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Amisa. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. Amisa, maybe you can share, share with us. Tunajua uh, kwa, kwa, kwa status ambayo yuko nao shemeji, yuko vizuri, yuko nini, lakini kuna vitu tumevi notice kidogo, tukona, sisi nyo tukona najiuliza kama wanaume wa Tanzania, ya mayo yuko gentlemen sana na kufungulia mlango, bangu sangeza kufanya hivyo, nini. Hii treatment unazwa kawambia vipi wanaume wa Tanzania ambao pengine unafikiri kwa mba wawo na pesa, mwanamike na zaka njikea, wakashindo kumhendo vizuri, mwanamike, hebu wape darasa kidogo. Bimu mwenyeni mekua inspired by the way. Um, mimi nazani mwanaume ya kipenda, atafanya na mwanaume akitaka atafanya sasa ni kama mwanaume anafundishwa mwanaume ni anaamua yeye mwenyewe na maamuzi yake kutokana labda na malezi ama na vitu ambavyo yeye experience kwa hiyo ni ngumu sana kumfanyia mtu afanye kitu ambacho yeye hajui thamani yake lakini kama unathamini mwanamke wako na unampenda mwanamke wako basi utafanya ni vitu vidogo vidogo tu ndio vinakufanyaga mapenzi yani yazidi kunoga na yazidi ku ku, 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 ku na vitu vingine yes 
That's what I can say. Yeah. Share with us. She made a vendor phone to a night out with tea and to a fashion to be a dress could get about she made you want to put you as an economy. They are asking like which uh, dress code you you like to see me dressing like like what your favorite type of outfits that I wear. And wow. I, I think he should answer that now. Okay. You can share with us. I can share with you, but the question is like if one day she is not like brilliant, every day she's brilliant. So you know I cannot even like tell you like what type of clothing I prefer. Like every day she's brilliant, but my favorite color is like when she wear blue. Okay. Yeah. Firing <laughs> Inshallah, I to do my own panganini hugo, like anyway, just hoping for the best. Chill. Wateja wako watarajiwa wanaangalia video hii. Kama biashara yako ingeonekana pamoja na unachokiangalia sasa, wengi wangegeuka kuwa wateja wako wapya. Tuandikie sasa info@snstz.com au WhatsApp pekee 0659 2389. Tuifikishe biashara yako kwa na SNS.